Leonardo AI has rolled out an exciting update, which includes a fresh overhaul of the image generation user interface. This is how things used to look. Now, image generation looks like this. Don't worry if you're missing the old interface. There's a legacy mode slider to switch back to the classic view. However, please note that any settings or prompts you've created on the new UI won't be transferred over. Let's dive into our walkthrough and explore what's changed. Notice that your token count is now located at the top center of the page instead of the right side. The prompt field remains at the top of the window. You'll see that the negative prompt slider has been relocated to Advanced Settings. When you enable it, it will open up the prompt window where you can input your negative prompt. There is a small icon in the upper right corner of the prompt window. That's the button that takes you to image to image generation. However, I'll cover that feature at the end of this video. So for now, let's move on to other features. On the right side of the prompt field, you'll find a fairy dust or sparkle symbol that now includes the prompt improvement and random prompt features you previously found under the die symbol on the left. This is where you can either refine an existing prompt or generate a completely new one. On the left side, you'll notice some new features. At the top, you'll see a drop-down list called Presets. This is a convenient feature that provides quick access to predefined settings based on your goals. A preset primarily controls the model and style. For instance, if I select Anime, the model will be set to Leonardo Anime XL and the style will be adjusted to Anime General. Leonardo has promised to allow customization of presets in the future, but for now they've provided a set of predefined options. Under Style, you'll find a range of new styles introduced by Leonardo. What's great is that these styles are now tied to the preset you've selected, which makes it easier to find the perfect combination. Previously, it was a challenge to figure out which style worked well with which model. Now the styles are better matched to the model chosen based on the preset, making your creative process more streamlined. Next, you'll find the new contrast feature, which affects the color contrast of generated images. With high contrast, you'll get sharper contrasts between colors, resulting in darker blacks and brighter light colors. On the other hand, low contrast will soften the colors, creating a more muted palette in your images. You'll come across the powerful Alchemy version 2 feature in this area, but now it's not labeled as Alchemy. Instead, you'll see a choice between fast generation and quality generation modes. The quality generation mode is equivalent to Alchemy version 2, so select that if you want to utilize its features. The image dimension options have become more intuitive because you can now see the actual implications of 1.1 or 16.9 ratios. Under More, you'll find even more size options, where you can use this slider to easily switch between different image ratios. If you're unsure what image size or ratio you need, you can utilize these buttons that provide common sizes for social media platforms like TikTok or Instagram, as well as sizes for devices such as desktops, mobile phones, or film formats like cinema or widescreen. Regardless of the format you choose, you'll see the exact dimensions displayed at the top of this window. For the number of images generated at once, Leonardo now offers a simplified selection. One, two, three, or four. If you need to generate more, simply click on this drop-down menu, where you can choose up to eight images per batch. Next, let's explore the private mode slider. In the legacy mode, this feature was called public images and when enabled, your generated images would be publicly available. 
By making your images public, you would give Leonardo.ai permission to use, share and modify them worldwide, forever, according to their terms of service. They would also retain the right to make these assets available to the public and use them commercially for service purposes. In the past, if you were on a paid plan and wanted to keep your images private, you had to disable this toggle. In the new UI, things have changed. Now if you want to keep your images private, you'll need to enable this toggle. So, be sure to pay attention to this important detail. Now, regardless of the preset you've selected, you can override the default settings and choose a different model with the same style chosen in the preset. However, you're no longer able to select models outside this list. As you'll notice, you'll only find SDXL models in this list. If you want to use any of the legacy models, such as those based on stable diffusion generations 1.5 or 2, like Anime Pastel Dream, you'll need to navigate back to the Fine-Tuned Models page on the home page and click on Generate with this model. From there, you'll be taken to the legacy image generation page that you're familiar with from before. The Photoreal toggle adds a layer of realism to your generated images, but it's not the same as using the dedicated Photoreal model for image creation. Even with identical settings, prompts and seeds, you can expect to see distinct differences in the resulting images. The transparency, tiling and fixed seed toggles will seem familiar to you, as their functionality remains unchanged. Let's revisit the image guidance feature in Leonardo, which you can access by clicking on the icon at the top left corner of the prompt box. As you can see, this section combines new and familiar features. You will find image guidance options at the top and elements at the bottom. If you click View More, you'll see all available image guidance options, which are now explained with helpful examples in the new UI. Some of the newest features include Content Reference, Style Reference and Character Reference. With Content Reference, you can use a reference image to guide your generation by mimicking its content and form. Style Reference lets you apply specific styles from a reference image to your generated result. Character reference enables consistent character creation by using a character from a source image and applying it to a new one. Let me demonstrate how this works. I'll choose an image of a woman as my reference and the prompt will generate image with her face. For my prompt, I'm generating an image of a mage. You can see the results on the bottom without using image guidance. My objective with character reference is to create a mage image featuring the face of the woman from the original picture. As you can see, the resulting images resemble the original picture. You can even adjust the strength of the reference image to make the target picture more similar to the source. Additionally, you can combine image guidance with styles. For instance, I could add flames to my mage to give her a mysterious aura. And that concludes our tour through the new Leonardo image generation UI. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me soon in my next video.